from Ella. Yesterday we took the train from Hapu-Tali to Ella and it was an interesting train experience because it was a very small and very old train. I think that there was like black mold on the ceiling. It was what they call us third class. So we got to experience every kind of train that we could in Sri Lanka. This was also standing room only, no seats available because it was so busy with unlimited tickets. But thankfully it was only for like an hour, hour and a half. So it wasn't a problem at all. After having had probably one of the better breakfasts that we've had even in this country, and this is considering the fact we've had nothing but great breakfasts, then I think that says something. Yeah, she made the most delicious dal and actually spiced it to a true, what I would say, medium spice. And her coconut sambo was amazing. We had tons of fruit, rice, omelets. It was super filling, super healthy and delicious. But I think we're now ready to go out and explore Ella. Let's go. If you're wondering what this is, then this is Nine Arches Bridge, also known as the Bridge in the Sky. The construction on this finished in 1921 in order to connect the stations in Damodara and Ella together. Alongside being an absolutely beautiful spot in the middle of the jungle to enjoy watching a train go past, it's also widely regarded as one of the best examples of colonial era railway construction in the whole of Sri Lanka. It sure does, son. Ignorance does indeed lead to suffering. And I'm pretty sure every single person was taking a selfie on the track and we definitely were walking on the track. So what are your thoughts? I'm not really too sure how this came to be a tourist attraction, but I think it's really cool to do because A, it's free, B, where else can you find a railway track and bridge in the middle of the jungle? And that uniqueness kind of makes it a really cool photo opportunity. Not that that's what life is really all about, but it's just something different than we would ever get to experience back home. And on the way home from Nine Arches Bridge, we couldn't resist the opportunity to treat ourselves. So we got another delicious king coconut for 200 rupees. So just under a dollar. Good morning. You'll have to excuse the construction that is going on across the street from our guest house. So hopefully you can hear us. After Nine Arches Bridge yesterday, we just had a really relaxed day. We ended up going to lunch at this place called Umbrella Cafe and you had what you called an amazing rice and curry. So Nick said he wants me to taste it so I think we'll probably go back there today because all I had yesterday was just a 
mixed fruit smoothie essentially, which was really, really good. But I just felt like I needed a break from all of the rice and roti and grain type things. So we're excited to take you there today. As for what we got planned this morning, we're going to enjoy a nice breakfast put on by our hosts. And then we're going to go explore another of the famous sites of Ella, which is Little Adam's Peak. This is meant to be a two or three hour leisurely stroll according to the internet. So let's see if that rings true. I've also been specifically instructed by Rachel to not get too tired because I need to edit later on. So let's see what happens. made it to the top of Little Adam's Peak and I don't know what information I was reading because it did not take two to three hours to walk up here. It was probably about half an hour. So I'm wondering if maybe I was accidentally reading about Adam's Peak and not Little Adam's Peak. But it did say that it was a leisurely stroll and that part is not true. Nope. It's flat until you get to the zip line and then it turns into steep-ish stairs but the views up here are absolutely incredible so well worth the 30 minute walk the way down from up there and now we have to climb all the way up here why don't you tell the camera how you feel now that you've climbed down for the record this was your idea and it was terrible <laughs> i said that i wanted to do it and that nick could wait at the top because i didn't want to force him into it however yeah after not following you up on the climbs in wadi rum i just felt like less of a person so yeah I feel like I have to now. But you really shouldn't feel that way. Societal pressure, yeah. <laughs> I'm six foot five. My balance is absolutely terrible. And I suffer from vertigo. So, this view better be worth it. You made it, babe. Because I'm so mad right now. But I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I don't think many people do this part of the hike when they're at Little Adam's Peak because it's definitely not for the faint of heart, but on my end, I am very proud of myself for conquering this physical challenge and I feel better for having done it. I think I will come to appreciate what I've done. I just don't feel it right now. I'm still coming down from a lot of the anxiety inducing parts of this. But I'm really proud of you. Thanks. It takes a lot to do something like that when you're scared and don't want to do it. Yep, exactly. What have you thought of all the views up here though? Second to none. Honestly, I think between this and Lipton Seat, you get genuinely some of the best vistas of this part of Sri Lanka. It's just unrivaled to be able to go to one particular point and get views just like this. And yeah, my, it might not have been sunrise, but you can still definitely appreciate just how wonderful this is. 
Yeah, it's 360 degree views at both places. And this country does not miss. Every single place we have been has been absolutely stunning. The natural beauty just surrounds you, whether you are more rural or if you're more in an urban area. This entire country has been a win. If you haven't already started making plans to Sri Lanka, why not? It's worth coming here. Stop what you're doing and make plans to come to Sri Lanka. Everywhere we've been has been amazing yep. in its own right. Yep. But I think this might be my favorite country, which is a pretty big declaration. Considering the places that we've been to up to now, that's huge news. And to be honest with you, I'm up there with you. There have been a number of other countries that I would put like in the top three, but I think this might be them all. Yeah, it just has natural beauty, it has history, it has beaches, amazing food, friendly and helpful people. It's awesome. Second to none. Yep. We made it back across, babe. Found it. In all fairness, coming back was a lot easier than getting there. Wasn't so bad. I think I need a serious cleanup before lunch. And I'm all cleaned up for lunch. feeling peckish so we come for lunch back to Cafe Umbrella. We have two different kinds of juices here so we got one mango and one ginger and lime both of which are fantastic and then we have a coconut and honey pancake and then a coconut and banana pancake. So yeah looks very appetizing and can't wait to dig in. In terms of the rest of our day though we haven't got a lot planned so with that we're gonna call it there. So until next time Take care. And keep smiling.